Hello, this is Last Garden Standing again. It's been a while. It is now January 2018 and the video that I'm going to bring you this time is the complete poinsettia care from January clear till next December so you can have your beautiful poinsettias again. Um, these are the poinsettias that lasted all the way through New Year's. Uh, I've cut them down and I actually showed you how to do that in my past videos. It's called uh, Christmas Plants Cutting, Transplanting. And it shows you the proper way to cut them. And these are the results actually from those poinsettias that I did that from. And they're coming along just fine. So it will tell you exactly how to cut them in that video. I will put the link in my description also. So I'm going to just, this is the big one that I just cut and these I cut about a month, month and a half ago and you can see all the new leaves. It's really good. So this video is going to show you step by step from January to December. So this is the step by step process. We're going to talk about January through April 1st. The watering process is you just water them, preferably under a faucet, and let it drain out. Make sure they dry out before you water them again. Put them in sunlight. Filtered sunlight is really the best. However, direct sunlight is good, but don't just have them in hot, hot, hot sunlight and bright light at first. These have just been in indirect sunlight, and they're doing just fine. And you notice when I cut these, I left... a. Uh, on this one I left two of the older leaves and it's actually done a little bit better than the one I cut all the leaves from. So that's just a tip for you to keep in mind. Keep the temperature in the room approximately 65 to 75 degrees and at this point you want to check for insects. Check them very thoroughly. So then starting in April, the first few days, the first through the third day, gradually decrease that watering, allow that plant to dry completely out, and do that for a couple of weeks, and then by April 15th, they need to be moved to a cool area, such as a basement, a heated garage, or someplace where you can keep it approximately 60 degrees. Do that for a couple of weeks, and then on, in May, the first week. Cut those bracts off and stems again four to six inches above the soil. Repot it if necessary. If it's too big and too, too big for the container, repot it. But if it doesn't need it, then leave it alone. Place the new plant in a bright window after that. Again, once again, 65 to 70 degrees is the temperature. Do all that through May, and then in June, after there's no danger of frost anymore, move the plant uh, back outdoors if you want. You can put them outdoors or you can continue to have your house plants, either way. But make sure they're in a slightly shaded area outside or in a filtered light inside. Tur uh, trim again, once again, two to three inches off. And that, what that does is actually promote side branches, so you might want to think about making your plant fuller. In July, do that all through June, and then in July, pinch off just one inch from each stem. Move to a full sunny area at that time, no more filtered light or anything. Outside, make sure it's in a sunny area. Inside, right in front of a window where it's nice and bright. Fertilize once or twice a month and increase the amount of water as your plant grows. By August 15th, the plant should be full again. It should be big. It should be very leafed out and a lot of branches. So cut the stems once again, three to four leaves. Leave on each plant like I did this one, as you can see right there. Um, also, same process as January. Make sure you fertilize twice a month, water as the plant needs it, let it kind of dry out. And then what we're going to do is start our fall uh, process, which is the darkening 
process and this is where you're going to get your color. What you need to do is keep the plant in complete darkness. I mean no light at all. So definitely in a basement with clothes, drapes, and so forth. Even in your closet is good and close your closet doors. As well as you can actually put a box right over your plant. And that darkness time period needs to be from 5 o'clock approximately p.m. to 8 o'clock a.m. or according to your schedule. Just make sure it's in the dark anywhere from 13 to 15 hours of the day and then in the light the rest of the day. So that's about six hours of light. In the darkness process also you do this about eight to ten weeks. Keep the temperature at 60 degrees through this whole darkening process. Fertilize in the darkened period very little. It's, it's just going to linger at this point. It's just going to get color is what it's going to do. And they'll uh, do this until the last of November, which is around Thanksgiving. You can use that as a marking time. When your color is totally visible, then discontinue the short day and darkness long hours. Discontin discontinue it completely. In December, voila, you've got your new poinsettias. You fertilize very lightly in that time. Go back to when you first bought your plants. You should have beautiful color, beautiful plants. Uh, remove them to a filtered light again. Water just as they need it and fertilize very lightly. All right, that's your step-by-step -step process on your poinsettias for the whole year until you have Christmas again. And hopefully this, these steps makes it a little bit easier to take care of your poinsettia. It is a hard plant in some respects because you have to follow that plant all year around. This is Last Garden Standing. I hope let's take our experiences together and combine them to make the best garden ever and let's hopefully other people will learn from our experiences as well. Thank you for watching. Definitely like, share, and subscribe if you would. And give me a comment too. Let me know how I'm doing. Thank you.